All right, so first of all, there's nothing wrong with this mower. I wanted to show you what normal readings look like. That way, if yours turns out to be different, you'll know there's probably something wrong. So two questions. When you turn the key, do you hear a click? Do you not hear a click? If you do hear a click, we're gonna explore what to look for if you do. And if you don't hear a click, we're gonna go ahead and start with that. All right, so in this scenario, let's pretend we don't have a click. We actually do have a click, but I wanted to show you the first place to check if you don't have a click is your starter relay. Let's see if we have power there, right here, on this purple wire. This purple wire is the key to everything when we go through the switches. I'll show you in a minute. Now I've got the meter connected to chassis ground, and we're turning the key switch. See that? We've got, well, 11 volts. That's because the relay is loading down the battery. So we have power at the starter solenoid. If you don't have a click, you can automatically eliminate all the switches. We've got power here at the end. This is the end. Your starter relay is going to be bad. The coil inside is no good. All right. Now, let's start at the beginning, and I'll show you where this voltage comes from right here. All right, so where we are right here is right under the key switch, where the plug is, where the wires go into the key switch, under the dash. So what we have here is a red wire. See that red wire right there? That is the source of our power for all the, the switches. That's coming directly from the battery. We have 12 volts there, regardless if the key is on or not. What happens is, is when you turn the key, it energizes. Here's our purple wire from the relay, and here's the beginning of it. Put a meter on there and turn the switch, and we'll have our 12 volts approximately. It's 11 something. All right. Now, if you don't have 12 volts right here at this purple wire, then more than likely you've got a bad key switch, okay? Because here's the beginning. So it leaves the key switch and it, it goes over to the blade switch where you put the blade on and off. All right, so we're still under the dash on the blade switch. It's right underneath the throttle control. You'll see it there from the side. So we're gonna simulate what this should probably look like if you have a bad switch. So I'm turning the key and here we have our 12 volts coming in from the uh, key switch, okay? But let's go to the other terminal, the other purple one. All right, so now we're on the uh, upper uh, purple wire. Turn the switch. We got nothing. No click, no nothing. So if you see this and your blade is off, then you've probably got a bad switch. So let's turn. I'm turning the, I had the blade on. That way it would simulate that. But the blade is back off. Here's what it should look like. You should see your 12 volts on that upper wire as well. So from there, it goes to your clutch switch. All right, so here we are at the uh, clutch or brake switch. Now this outer purple wire right here, that one is coming from our blade switch. The inner one is actually going over to our starter relay where we began at. If you can't see it, I've got the meter slid into the purple wire that's on the outer one. That's coming from our brake switch, or our blade switch rather. And we have our 12 volts there. The inner one, we turn the key, and we have our 12 volts there. Now, say if I disengage the clutch, now we'll have power still on that outer one, but our inner one does nothing. That's why you have to have the clutch pushed in. But if you do have the clutch pushed in and you see this, then that's how you know you probably have a bad switch. So that's it. From here, it goes to the uh, purple wire on the starter relay. And the seat switch is pretty much irrelevant. If you have the clutch pushed in and the blade is off, the, the seat switch doesn't really matter anyway, so that's not gonna be a suspect. All right, so here we are back where we started from at our starter relay. Now, everything I've showed you up until this point is if you have no click, this is where the click is coming from, by the way, it's your starter relay. What if you do have a click? Okay, we've got our 12 volts on the purple wire, like I showed you. Our starter relay is clicking, but we have no cranking, all right? Well, the easiest thing that you can do to make sure the starter is itself is okay is go ahead and take a screwdriver. Now, be careful with this. If you're not comfortable with this, then don't do this. But I've done it a million times, and there's never been a problem. So go ahead and take the screwdriver and do this. Now I know the starter's okay. But what we want to see here is 12 volts here 
all the time, because this one is coming straight from the battery, I mean directly, and then we want 12 volts here when you actually crank the key. If you're not seeing 12 volts here when you crank the key, then you're not going to have it on your starter, and your starter relay is bad. All right. Well, I hope this video has been helpful. Hopefully it'll help you troubleshoot some of your problems. Thanks for watching.